SQL, or Structured Query Language, is a powerful tool used for managing and manipulating databases. Whether you're pulling data for reports, analyzing trends, or just curious about your data set, SQL is the go-to language. SQL was developed in the early 1970s at IBM by Donald D. Chamberlain and Raymond F. Boyce. Originally called SQL, or Structured English Query Language, it was designed to manipulate and retrieve data stored in IBM's original quasi-relational database management system. System R. In 1979, Oracle released the first commercial implementation of SQL. Today, SQL is essential across various relational database management systems like MySQL, PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server, and Google BigQuery. However, with the advent of big data, NoSQL databases like MongoDB and Cassandra have gained traction, offering scalability and flexibility. SQL operates on relational databases, which store data in tables composed of rows and columns. Columns represent the different attributes or fields of the data, or rows represent individual records. A relational database is a type of database that stores data in tables that can be related to each other. This relationship is established through keys, both primary and foreign. Primary key is a unique identifier for each record in a table. For example, in an employee's table, the employee underscore ID could be the primary key, ensuring each employee is uniquely identifiable. A foreign key is a field in one table that uniquely identifies a row of another table. It creates a link between the two tables. For example, an orders table might have a customer ID on it that serves as a foreign key linking to the customer table's primary key. This relational structure allows us to efficiently organize, retrieve, and manage large amounts of data across different tables. Now that we have a basic understanding of tables, rows, columns, and what relational databases are, let's write a simple SQL query. Note, the SQL variant that I'll be using is Google's BigQuery. However, the syntactic differences between BigQuery and other SQL dialects is fairly minimal. With this in mind, let's navigate to BigQuery and see so we can start writing our own SQL queries. First, log into your Google Cloud console. Navigate to BigQuery from the main menu. Here, you'll see the BigQuery editor where you can write and execute your SQL queries. Let's write our first SQL query. The database that I'm going to be querying is the Rust underscore mix table from the rust.all database. So let's type in select star from mix data 421423.rus underscore all dot rus underscore mix. And let's set a limit of 10. Now, this query selects all rows and columns from the Rust mix table, but limits the amount of rows returned to 10. If you don't fully understand what's going on in this query, don't worry, as I'll be covering how to build out your own queries using SQL syntax in a future video. That's it for our introduction to SQL and BigQuery. Thanks for watching, and feel free to leave any questions or feedback in the comments below. And a specific shout out to these people for the wonderful and kind comments. Thank you very much.